Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to see how to draw some lines and regions. So let us take some question. So draw the line. x plus y equal to 3. So how am I going to draw this line? So when I have uh, this line x plus y equal to 3, I will first make a small table which will say what is x, what is y and here I will write the pair x comma y now we know that if you want to draw a line if you, want, if you want to draw a line you will how many points do you need to draw a line if you give it two points then after joining them i get a Lines. So, how many minimum number of points are needed to draw a line? To draw a line, the minimum number of points is how much? You need only two points. If I tell you where the two points are, suppose I give you this point and this point, then you can easily make out that the line must be this. Okay, so joining the two points, we will get the line. So, this will be our strategy to do this problem that I will take only two points and draw the line. So now x this x and this x I will take any two simple values of x very very simple values of x. So I will say I will let me take x equal to 1 and let me take x equal to 2. So if I take x equal to 1, what is the equation? Equation is, what is the equation given to us? x plus y equal to 3. What is the equation? I will write it here also. The equation is x plus y equal to 3. So replace this x. So instead of this x, put 1. Because x is 1 plus y is equal to 3. And therefore, this 1 which is added on this side, it will go on that in, on the other side. And it will become minus 1. So 3 minus 1. Because it is added here, when I send it on that side, it becomes so it gets a subtract so y is equal to 2 okay so this means that x is 1 what is x x is 1 and y is how much y is 2 so i got 1 comma 2 so i will write this information in the table x1 at that time y is 2 and what is the pair 1 comma 2 now i will take x equal to 2 and i will write replace this x by 2 plus y equal to 3 again this plus 2 will go on that side and it will become minus 2 so this will become y is equal to 3 then minus 2 so it is y equal to 1 so what is the pair I am getting x comma y the pair x comma y is x is how much 2 and y is 1 so I got the pair 2 comma 1 so let me fill up the table when x was 2, y became how much? y became 
1 okay so i got the pair 2 comma 1 so this is the way i have filled the table now after filling this table now i can draw the line which line were we talking about the line x plus y equal to 3 so let me squeeze the screen so, okay well let me just go to the diagram now let's draw x axis y axis this is your x axis y axis on x axis i will write one two three see you see these are the two pairs one two and two one it, there is no negative number here so i will not look at the negative side of x axis at all i don't need it and here also you have let me write one two three four now what is the first point uh, x one comma two so one where is one comma two one comma two means on x axis one and y axis 2 so on x axis 1 and y axis 2 so this point becomes the point 1 comma 2 where is the point 2 comma 1 on x axis 2 and on y axis it is 1 So this point is how much? 2 comma 1. Right. So I got the point. And now I will draw the line which passes three, through these two points. So we know how that line passes. So we can take a scale and we can simply join them by using a straight line. Let me actually draw it should be something like this. So this will be the line which we were looking for. What is the equation of this line? Equation of this line is x plus y equal to 3. Okay. So let me take one more question. I hope this is understood clearly. I will do one more question so that the concept will get more clear. So let us draw the line question. Draw the line 2x plus y equal to 1 okay again the same strategy the value of x i will choose two very simple values of x so i will say table i will draw after my calculations now okay so i will partition the page and write x equal to take simple values of x so take x equal to suppose i take x equal to one and x equal to let us take 2 so if i write 2x plus y equation is this right 2x plus y equal to 1 so that i will always write again so i can substitute that number so 2x how much is x x is 1 so here i have to put a bracket and multiply plus y equal to 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 plus y is equal to 1 and therefore y, again this 2 is added on this side so we need when I send it on the other side I will write 1 first I will write 1 and then I will write the person who is coming from the other side which is minus 2 now what is 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is minus Next is uh, if I put here x equal to 2, I will get 2 into 2 plus y equal to 1. 
which is 2 into 2 is 4 plus y is equal to 1. So this means y is equal to first write 1, then the person coming from the other side minus 4. And what is 1 minus 4? 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So this means what are the pairs that I've got? What so can I write the table now? So when I go for writing the table, the table is x is how much? X is uh, 1 and 2. X is 1 and 2. What is y? When x is 1, y is minus 1. So the pair I'm getting 1 comma minus 1. And second is when y is 2, x is 2, y is minus 3. So the pair will be 2 comma minus 3. So this is so my table is ready. Only drawing the line is remaining. So I hope these calculations are clear to all of you. So now when I draw the graph, this is x axis, y axis. I will move. I have positive and negative uh, in the table, so I will write 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Not anything is not beyond 3. See, all numbers are 1, minus 1, 2, and minus 3. So don't go on writing 5, 6, up to 10. It will waste your time. Here also 1, 1, 2, 3 minus and minus 2 minus 3. It is enough to draw this graph. The first point is 1 and minus 1. Now 1 x axis 1 and y axis minus 1. So so this point is on x axis it is 1 and y axis it is minus 1. So 1 comma Minus one. This is that point. Second point is two comma minus three, two and minus three. Y axis minus three is down. So this is this point is two minus three. And now I will join these two points, okay, by using the straight line. What was the equal? What is the equation of that line? It is 2x plus y equal to zero, uh, equal to one. I have not drawn the exact, the, my scaling is not correct. So if you scale, if you really take your correct measurements, this line should pass like this. This should be your, sorry. This should be your line. So if you take two different points, now what will happen? Now it may, for me, one and two were simple. So I did that calculation. You may choose any two different points. You may choose any two different values of X and get the values of Y. Still, everyone will get the same line. Okay. Let us do one more line. Let us practice one more. Draw the line. Two X plus three Y equal to six. answer so 
now it may happen that if you choose any two values of x so as i told you take x equal to something i will make two parts of the page it may happen that if you choose any value of x and try to put in that equation and, and then find the value of y you may not get a good answer you may not be happy with that particular value of y okay for example uh, see suppose i write now don't run don't copy this just pay attention suppose i say x equal to 1 is a good choice for me then i will write 2x plus 3y equal to 6 here instead of x i will put 1 so 2 into 1 plus 3y is equal to 6 so 2 into 1 is 2 plus 3y is equal to 6 and then this plus 2 i will shift on that side so it will become minus 2 so it is 3y equal to 6 and then minus 2 so i have shifted the 2 on that side so who is remaining on the left hand side only 3y and therefore i will get 3y is equal to 6 minus 2 is 4 and therefore this 3 is multiplied to this y so when i shift it on that side if something is multiplied here and when i shift it on that side it goes and divides the other side so this will be y equal to 4 upon 3 and then you will not be happy to say what well, 4 upon 3 i want to plot in the picture in the graph okay i have to go and what is 4 upon 3 i will need a calculator to find the fraction it is 1 point something something and then how will i show this in my graph paper so carefully so it means that when you are getting such a uh, such answer which is not good to plot which is not easy to draw this means your choice of x is not a good choice so why don't you change your choice that is the thing instead of taking x equal to 1 what will happen if i take x equal to 0 now this will become quite easy when you put x equal to 0 this will become 2 into 0 now this part this part you can copy because i know it is correct so 2 into 0 is how much 0 so 0 plus 3y is nothing but what 0 plus 3y is 3y and the four y will be equal to this is 6 as it is now y is equal to 6 upon 3 y is 6 upon 3 and therefore y is equal to 2 so now this is easy this is good answer y equal to 2 so what is the pair x comma y we have got the pair x comma y that we have got is at x was 0 and y was 2 so first pair we have got 0 comma 2 okay now when i go for the second value of x so when i go for second value of x again here the same problem will come because x equal to 1 i will not do now okay x equal to 1 i am going to, i know x equal to 1 will give me a bad answer so then what value of x now should i choose and that is going to waste my time right to find the correct the good value of x so in this case what i suggest you to do is in when we if you look at this left part calculation carefully if you see this left part of calculation you see that we have simply omitted this x part and we got this 3y equal to 6 here right so and therefore that was good so it would became very easy now if i can do the same thing for if i omit this part then i will get 2x equal to 6 and 2x equal to 6 means what 2x equal to 6 means x is equal to what 6 upon 2 sorry 6 upon 2 and 6 upon 2 is how much 3 so you get a good value of x so what does this suggest me that this suggests me that for finding the second point what you do is now don't put x equal to anything 
but now you can even have a choice to put y equal to 0. You can do this also. So if take value of y and find the value of x. So if I put y equal to 0, what will I get? I will get 2x plus 3 into 0 because y instead of y I am writing what? Instead of y I am writing 0 is equal to 6. And again 3 into 0 is 0 is equal to 6 and therefore 2x is equal to 6. And this 2 is multiplied here, so it will go and divide on that side. So x it will become 6 upon 2 and therefore x will become how much? 3. So even this is a good thing to work. I My target was to just find one pair. So what is that pair? Writing this pair, it, you have to be careful. What is x? x is not 0. x is how much? x is 3. And uh, y is how much? y was chosen to be 0. So I got two points x y 0 2 and the other point is 0 3. I'm showing the calculation again. So now when I go for the picture and draw the x axis. I see that there is no negative number here anywhere. So no need of writing minus one, minus two, minus three on the left hand side. So here I have one, I have two, three enough, I think. Up to three only this here. So here also I'll take the same scale. One, two and three, enough. This is y axis, this is x axis. Now plotting the points. Now here majority of the students make mistakes so where is this point x equal to x y equal to 0 2 you know that if you have on the first component if you have a zero here and some number here this point is a person of y axis this point is on the y axis but if you have zero on the second part and here you have some number star and then this person is a point on the x axis so this person is on this point lies on what this point lies on y axis and 3 0 is a point which lies on x axis so 0 2 is here so 0 comma 2 this was done in the first lecture i have taught you this thing in the first lecture and the second point is 3, 0. This is on the x axis. This point is 3, comma 0. And now I will draw the line joining these two points because I know I need only two points to draw a line. So this is the line. 2x plus 3y, correct? Am I right? 2x plus 3y equal to 6. I'm showing the picture again. This is the line 2x plus 3y equal to 6. Okay. Moving to one more example. Question Draw the line X minus Y equal to one. X minus Y equal to one. So take two values of X. You know you can take two values of x, you can take even two values of y, even you can take one value of x and one value of y. The thing we did in previous sum. So it is up to you. So I will say let me choose x equal to 1 and uh, for example let me choose x equal to 2. Let me see what happens. Okay. So x is 1. So I will write 1 minus y equal to 1. 
what is my next target? This one which is here, which is added. So it's a plus one, right? I will send it on that side. In that case, this minus y will be carried as it is in the next step. And this one which is on this side will be shifted to the right hand side and it will become minus one. So in that case, this one will be carried as it is down and a minus one. Right, so what am I getting in the next step? I hope this is clear to all of you. Let me show it here again. So what is my equation? My equation is x minus y equal to one. Put x equal to two. So it is two minus y equal to one. What should be my next step? This minus y should be carried as it is in the next step equal to one, which is already on the right hand side should be kept as it is. And this two, which is here with a plus sign, no sign means it's a plus sign. This two, when it will go on that side, it will become minus two. Right. This means that therefore minus y is equal to what is one minus one zero. If minus y is zero means if I write minus minus sign this minus sign I will shift on that side. So I will get that minus sign goes away. This becomes y is equal to zero. Similarly, what will happen here? Minus y is equal to what is one minus two? It is minus one. Then I can cancel the minus sign and then I will get y equal to one. I hope this is clear. I know this is slightly difficult for my become students. So this is x comma y equal to x is one, y is zero. And what is the pair that I'm getting from the second part? Second part, what is the pair x y equal to x is how much? x is two and y is one. Let us plot these two points in the paper. So I have one, two. One, zero, two, one. So nothing is above three. So I don't need to draw other points. No, not necessary. First point is one comma zero. Now we know that any point which is of one something comma zero, it lies on which axis? It lies on X axis. So one zero point lies on the X axis. This here. This point is one comma zero. The second point is two X axis two. Y axis one. So it is here. It is two comma. One and I'm going to join the two points. This is a line. What is the equation of the line? The equation was the line was x minus y equal to one. OK. OK, so in this uh, section, I'm going to now teach you how to sketch regions. So let me write a title as sketch the regions. OK. Let's first sketch some simple regions and then we will see some complicated regions. So let's just write 
sketch the region. The region X greater than two. X greater than two. Now, how will I sketch this particular region? So for the time being, I will just look at X and two and I will not look at this particular greater than sign. I will just say X equal to two. What is X equal to two? Now X equal to two is a line. Now all of us know how to draw the line X equal to two. I'm drawing it in the figure now, see. So this is X axis, Y axis. What is the line x equal to 2? The line x equal to 2 is passing through 2 and parallel to the y axis. This is the line x equal to 2. Correct. And what I want is I want x greater than 2 so you have so line this line is parallel to y axis what is greater the right portion of this line is the region x greater than 2 means i will shade that region now using some green pens okay like this this entire infinita this is going infinite This region is called this green colored region is x greater than 2. Okay, and therefore, obviously, what must be the thing that if someone asks you what is x less than 2, what will you do? We'll say that fine, x equal to 2 is this line. x less than 2 means I will shade the the left region this part okay so let's take that question sketch x less than 1 I'll draw x axis y axis Then I will draw which line? I will draw line x equal to 1. Line x equal to 1. And now I will shade which part? Because it is less than. So as I told you, for less than you have to shade the left part. So this region is shaded region is nothing but what that is actually x less than one. The shaded region is x less than one. How are you going to shade this in your exams? I told you, as I told you, you cannot use this type of ink or something like this in your exams. You are going to shade it like this. We'll show it like this. Let's take next question. Suppose I'm asked what about sketch. Sketch y greater than three. Now let us sketch y greater than three also easy and then x axis y axis y is 1 y is 2 y is 3 
draw the line passing through this y equal to 3 and parallel to x axis so this line is y is equal to 3 and then greater than so greater than ke liye what is your guess should it be the upper portion or should it be the lower portion greater than y should be greater than 3 so here you see y is 2 y is 1 so it means y is less than 3 but i want y greater than 3 so it means that i should shade the upper part now so this region is y greater than 3 y greater than 3 question sketch y greater than 0 sketch y greater than 0 x axis y axis okay i will first draw y equal to 0 now we know that y equal to 0 means who is y equal to 0 in last lecture i have seen that y equal to 0 means the x axis so draw the x axis so this is the line this red line is called y equal to zero and i want y greater than zero so it is is it the upper part of the line or the lower part of the line greater than zero hoga to upper part lower than hoga to lower part x ke liye x ka agar pucha hoga greater than hoga to right part Le less than pucha suppose x greater than 2 hoga then it is right part but x less than 2 then it is left part so for y greater than 0 it is the upper part okay so y greater than 0 will become the upper part this part i will shade this part okay so this is y greater than 0 okay now let us take two people at the same time we will and see in all this problem we were taking only one thing y greater than 0 y greater than 3 x less than 1 only one person was coming in the picture now let us take two people at a time so sketch x greater than 3 comma y greater than 3 let's do it. let's take y greater than 2 3 okay x greater than 3 and y greater than 2 now what i will do is i will okay i will make the picture slightly smaller so let me do it so let's draw the axis first y axis and x axis x greater than 3 means first i will draw line x equal to 3 where is line x equal to 3 line x equal to 3 is here so it will be this line let me draw it with some ink so this is the line x equal to 3 correct and what is the therefore what is x greater than 3 x greater than 3 kya hona chahiye is line ka left part or is it the right part it is x greater than 3 means it should be the right part so i will systematically shade it now like this i will shade this part okay
you have your pencils you just have to draw lines okay so this is enter x greater than 3 next is the line y equal to 2 now where is y equal to 2 line y equal to 2 is y is 1 year and y is equal to 2 year so i will draw a line which is parallel to x axis and this line is the line y equal to 2 okay and therefore what is y greater than 2 now because of this line upper part is there and lower part is there so upper region and the lower region correct so y greater than 2 means what it is the upper part so i will shade the upper part now of this line y equal to 2 like this ओके, सो इन दोनों का जो कॉमन रीजन होगा इन दोनों ऐसा कौन सा रीजन है जिसको दोनों टाइप्स का शेडिंग आ चुका है ओके, दैट रीजन इज द आंसर ऑफ माई क्वेश्चन ओके यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट सॉरी वाई का गया हो गया सो एक्स ग्रेटर देन टू एंड वाई ग्रेटर देन टू विच इज द कॉमन पार्ट दैट इज द थिंग the common part to show shading is this so this region this common region this and this you are seeing here this region this is the common region what is that x greater than 3 and y greater than 2 okay ye jo extra shaded jo part hai main isko ab मिटा दूंगा ओके okay. यहां पर भी कुछ लाइंस बाहर आ चुके हैं मैं उनको भी मिटा दूंगा राइट right. सो so, इस रीजन में से यहां तक है so ye jo common region hai this is x greater than 3 and y greater than 2 this is a question answer of our sketch the common region x less than 2 and y greater than 3. Let's try this. What is this? So I will draw x axis, y axis. x is 2. First line is x equal to 2. And next is y equal to 3. First, let us draw these lines. x equal to 2 is this. This x equal to 2. This is y equal to 3. Now I have to show x less than 2. So x less than 2 is left side of the line x equal to 2. Left side. I am shading it. Sorry. 
left side of the line x equal to 2. Okay. And then y greater than 3 means what? y greater than 3 means the upper portion of the line y equal to 3. So let me just draw this properly. You cannot ignore any part. But no, bad news again. It becomes a difficulty for you. Okay. Now y greater than 3 means the upper part of y greater than 3. So this is this, this. Okay, and what is the common region now left? Do you see the common region? This left part is the common region, so I will erase the unnecessary lines. Unnecessary lines I am going to erase. Then unnecessary part I have removed. So this is the common region. Sketch the region. Now this region that I am going to sketch now, this is a very very important region which we will be always needing this particular region. So let us sketch that region. It's x greater than 0, comma y greater than 0. Sketch the region means sketch the common region. Okay, Sketch the common region. Let us draw x axis, y axis. Now we have to draw basically lines x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 first. Now we know that x equal to 0 is nothing but y axis, and y equal to 0 is nothing but x-axis so those lines are basically already drawn in the picture so I'll make them red now who is this line this line is y equal to 0 x-axis means y equal to 0 what is y-axis it means x equal to 0 this line is Zero. x greater than 0 means x equal to 0 line ke paas chekna hai and uska right part the right part of that is x equal to 0 so I will shade the right part of this line Okay, I'm shading it. Huh? I'm taking a break, but I'm shading it. And what is the line y? What is the region y greater than 0? y greater than 0 means y axis, x axis above x axis, whatever is there above the x axis. 
I'm going to draw it like this. Okay. Then I will erase out whichever is not common. Right. Whatever is not common, I will erase. So this. So basically, what I understand is that this common region is nothing but your first quadrant. So x greater than 0, y greater than 0 is nothing but first quadrant. OK? This is very, very important for our coming problems. Sometimes a region gets trapped between two lines. So sketch two less than x less than three. This also happens. OK, and nothing is told about why sketch the region. Nothing is told about why. This means that 2 less than x. First you have to take 2 less than x. And second you have to take x less than 3. If 2 is less than x, this means that x is greater than 2. So 2 less than x can also be said as what? That is, it is in other words, 2 less than x means x is greater than 2. And this is x is less than 3. Can we draw these two regions? Yes. x greater than 2 and x less than 3. First, we will draw the lines x equal to 2 and x equal to 3. Where is the line x equal to 2? x equal to 2 line is here. x equal to 3 line is here. And what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to look at the region x greater than 2. Where is x greater than 2? x greater than 2 is here. Correct. And where is x less than 3? x less than 3 is here. x left hand side of the x line x is. Right. Do you see where is the common region? The common region, if you carefully see, is actually this. This yellow part that I'm shading. This yellow part is the common region x between 2 and 3. And I will erase all the unnecessary shadings. And this becomes your common region. Okay. 
which is what is that region 2 is less than x is less than 3 see if you take a x here take any x here do you see that this x is greater than 2 but it is less than 3 now sometimes question is also asked in this way okay let me take one more practice okay sketch region 3 minus 3 less than y less than 3 how are you going to sketch this region now do you understand on the similar logic what are you going to do instead of going to x-axis and y-axis now in, in, instead of going on the x-axis now I'm going for the y-axis this is y-axis is minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 and this is 1 2 and 3 right so look at the above figure the above question says that x is between 2 and 3 shade the strip which is between x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 so when I use the same logic for this now I will draw the line y equal to 3 and I will draw the line y equal to minus 3 so this line which is passing through minus 3 is the line y equal to minus 3 and this line which is passing through y equal to 3 uh, this line is this line is y equal to 3 and do you get a strip horizontal strip you can see that and you just have to shade that horizontal strip so this horizontal strip that I'm directly shading now because I know the logic what is the logic is that this is the common part between both of them and this region is nothing but minus 3 less than y less than 3 so this is the common region who is what is that common region minus 3 less than y less than 3 okay let us go to the last question now sometimes it is also asked that shade the region x greater than or equal to 3 how you pronounce it x greater than or equal to 3 <coughs> so i will do my usual business okay i will do the same thing whatever i used to do i had previously is the same thing i will draw x axis I will draw y axis and go on x axis 1 2 3 I will draw the line x equal to 3 again this is the line x equal to 3 what is x greater than 3 we know all, all of us know that we are going to shade the right portion right now when i'm going to shade the right portion i don't have only x greater than 3 but i have x greater than or equal to 3 in this case when i'm shading now what i will shade it carefully and i will touch the line also okay i will touch the shading will touch the line it will touch it to the line initially what we were doing we were away from the line we were a little bit away from the line now we will not do that when it is greater than or equal to it means is line ko bhi shade karna hai line ke saath shading lena hai so, so i'm going to touch the line and shade it okay this is the way you shade the region if uh, what occurs if the equality sign occurs it is greater than or equal to okay so for example sketch y greater than or equal to 3 now i hope it is clear to all of you now I will draw this 
x-axis, y-axis. I will draw y equal to 1 to 3. Draw this line y equal y equal to 3 and y greater than or equal to 3 means above the line y greater than 3 is above the line and I will touch the line also. My shading should touch the line also. It should not be away from the line. So this is the region y greater than or equal to 3.